All right, Shalom, I'm Mike, I'm first and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadash, double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect, the teachers who are in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today, uh, I just want to title this lesson, uh, we're about to enter into the playoff. We're about to enter into the playoff. Yeah, because um, pretty much the um, the things that's going on now is is only the beginning. This is only the beginning, man. Much more uh, fierce and troublesome times is coming, man. You know. So, matter of fact, let's start off with this in Second uh, Timothy chapter three and verse one. It says, "Know this, it's like this. Know also." That in the last days, perilous times shall come, and uh, perilous, so pretty much dangerous, fierce, uh, savage times are coming, man. You know, it, it, it's about to get real hate to hear on the uh, land of America, man, and, and throughout the world, but especially here in America, man. You know, Babylon the Great, you know. And, and, and things are going to get real hectic out of here, man. Out here. Yeah, you know I mean? Because this is the regular season. We, we, we about to come into the playoffs, man. We, this is week 17. You know what I mean? You see, everything is gearing towards the chip now. See, back then, you know, you just, we used to get real excited about different World War Three talks and this and that. But that would have been out of order, man. You know, for World War Three to kick out before the chip come, but now as you can see, yeah, you know I mean, uh, these different prophecies is coming to pass. You know, by the way, the different plays and pestilences and uh, the state of emergencies that's being um, declared throughout the United States. Uh, everything is getting geared towards the chip now, man. Yeah, you know I mean, everything is is pointing towards the chip, which that's the sign. That's what we're waiting on, man. It's this microchip be mandated, you know. By the way, this this on um, this money, this economy crashing, you know, the, uh, them doing away with the dollar bill. We in that time, man. So this is First Thessalonians five and one. This is but of the times and the seasons, brethren. Ye have no need that I write out to you. See. And we are in very intense times right now. Very monumental times. They said the times and the season. See, now we're about to enter into the playoffs. The regular season is all is over with, man. You know, this is the time where um, we're not just going to say that we have faith. Our faith is going to be tried and tested, man. You know what I mean, we're we're really gonna be tried in that day because it's gonna be one day. It's gonna be that one day to where everybody's lives are gonna change. You're gonna have to take a sharp left or a sharp right. By the way, of this chip being presented unto you, man. And the Lord is gonna set us up whatever scenario we're gonna be, that chip is gonna be presented, man. And, and we're gonna have to choose whether you gonna you're gonna stay in this society. Or um or go out the grid and believe on your how about shimmy how shot, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? What else to say, man? Which that's that's the Lord pretty much putting an ultimatum. You know, throwing an ultimatum out by the way this chip being mandated, man. And we in that time. Let's get there in the second edge of the ninth chapter. You know, second edge of nine and one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And yeah, that was like just a, just like the apostle Paul said, you have no need that I that I write out to you. We understand these certain prophecies that's coming to pass, and and what to look forward to, man. You know what I mean? Because nothing but evils. It's coming upon this place, man. Nothing but doom and gloom and miseries and mourning is coming, man. You know what I mean? And it's gonna in the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shai 
having to be upon us so we won't fall apart in that day, man. You know, it says, Therefore, when thou, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and yeah, and, and this has happened. If this is happening, you know, now, man. Yeah, I mean, because um, by the way, of this uh, coronavirus is, 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 is causing an earthquake, meaning the, the earth is being shaken up by the coronavirus, man. And uproars of the people. And yeah, it's still different um, riots going on, you know, different protests. It's still going on throughout the world, man. I mean, it says, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the day that were, were before thee, even from the beginning. And yeah, and that lets you know that uh, these prophecies is, twa- is pointing towards America, man. Because this is, this is this the end of be all, man. After this, the kingdom of heaven is going to be established. So this place is going to go out with a bang, man. It's going to go out in a major way, man. You know what I mean? And, 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 and before, the, you know, the Lord returns, you know, to build up to the day of the Lord, all hell is going to break loose, man. It's nothing, it's nothing but chaos. Like I said, perilous times. It's going to, matter of fact, I think I got that in the blue letter, perilous. I think that's it right there. Let's check and see. Yep, so perilous times shall come. So nothing but evil times is coming, man. So, let's see. Hard to do, to take, to approach, see? <laughs> Hard to see, because this, this, this is something that just you just going to be able to withstand, man. It's going to have to be the spirit of your how about you know, shine to be upon you, man. And like I said, we, in the playoffs, man, you can't fall apart in the playoffs because if you lose one game, that's that's it. And I'm just speaking like on um, what is football terms, you know, you you, you playing a, like I can see like NBA, you got seven, you, you only thing you got to do is win four games. You know, if you lose one, at least you can bounce back game two or whatever. But with football, you lose that one game, you out, man. So the spirit of your how about you shine, it has to be rested upon us so we won't fall apart in that day, man. You know, our faith is going to have to kick in on that day, man. You know what I mean? It's just hard to bear, troublesome, dangerous, harsh, fierce, savage, see? And, 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 and we got to have that hedge of protection, man. Yeah, I mean, we got to have that hedge of protection, man, to, to withstand those days that's coming, man, that's approaching. Because ain't nothing, I mean, everything, is, you know, we really ain't going through nothing yet, man. You know, like I said, it's going to be that, that fork in the road when that chip is mandated. Everything is going to change then, man. Yeah, you know I mean? As a matter of fact, let's see, that's second address. Two, I believe. <clears throat> Second is two, and uh, I started twenty six. It says, "As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number." See. Because the Lord is going to preserve uh, his elect, man, in that day, man. Lord will I'm part of that number. It says, be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness come, cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. See? And that's what's coming. It's going to be a day. It's a, it's a, it's a day of trouble and heaviness. Weeping and sorrow. That's what's coming upon this place, man. But guess what? The Lord is going to preserve the elect to be merry, merry and have abundance. Meaning what? We're going to have a hedge protection, man. Yeah, you know I mean? And it's not like it's going to be a, a, a walk in the park, man. It's going to be very intense moments the Lord is going to have us in so he can pull us out of, man. 
You know what I mean? Not like now you you hoping that somehow you can get your bill paid. You know it's gonna be a there's gonna be times where you gonna go five six days without eating, and the Lord have a a big meal for you, man. You know, or 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 uh, you got a, a band of troops coming after you, and then you just disappear, man. Or you just you know what I mean? The Lord is gonna do marvelous works in that day, man. You know what I mean? But for for every, for everybody else, nothing but evil is coming, man. Yeah, you know I mean, see, the Lord is about to ramp everything up now. Yeah, you know I mean, you know. So um, I started one on this Ezekiel seven and one. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, "So this is the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. The Lord is now." He's not holding back his word no more. He's not no longer prolonging his word, man. This is the time where the words, oh, back then, like I just read in 2nd Ezra 9, the one I told you before, these different plays and pestilence that's about to come on, that's going to come to Babylon and this and that. And now is the time where it's going to come into play, man. The Lord says he's going to smite Egypt with the plays as before. This is the time out now, now, man. You know what I mean? It says, also, thou son of man, thus said the Lord of power unto the land of Israel, and in the end is come upon the four corners of the land. See? And don't we see it now? The end is coming. The end is coming, man. And we see it. We, we, we about to enter into serious times, man. Perilous times. This, we, think we are in very, we are in a very intense Time, man. It says, Now is the end come upon thee, I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And yeah, and it's been a build up to the discretion of this place, man, and throughout the four corners of the land. You know, and that's why you see the whole world is on fire now. The whole planet Earth is on fire now. It, it's some going on in every part of the world, man. It's, you got famines, you got pestilence, you got uh, uh, different skirmishes, uproars of the people, protests. Guess what? That's the Lord is 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 um <coughs> is, is is showing you that He's about to return, man. And, and, and the people is about to be recompensed of their actions. It says, And mine eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. See, Yahweh Shema is about to once again, um, you know, glorify his name upon planet earth by the way of the destruction, man. By the way of the judgments that's that's being dished out, man, and it's gonna get more and more and more intense, man. It's gonna the, it's gonna, the the death toll is gonna to rise, like the Adam not the Zabba. He said the Most High is about to make a it's about to have a new high score on deaths, man. And as you can see, everything is picking up, is building up. And now you see all these different prophecies is pointing towards the chip coming, man. So everything is here, man. Everything is coming, man. Yeah, you know I mean, and the people uh, that have been done uh, have been doing a bumble worse is about to get paid back. It says, "Thus says the Lord, power and evil, and only evil, behold, is come." See, <clears throat> it says, "Only evil is coming, man." It's not like things are going to get better. And that's why I said it's, it's, um, we're about to come into the playoffs. Because it's not like, you know, at the end of the regular season, you can take a break. No, that's the time where you need to train harder now. Why? Because you can't lose that one game, man. It, 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 you know, no wiggle room, man. You know, you got to be on all 10. You know, everything is very intense now. We in that time, man. It says, the end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. See? 
So nothing but evils is coming upon this place, man. Nothing but death and destruction is coming, man. And, and we see it now. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning, man. Yeah, you know I mean, it's not like these things are going to die down. It's going to get more and more intense, man. Matter of fact, let's get that in uh, I don't know, is that 15 or 16? Let's see. It's 16. It's going to get more and more intense, man. Let's see. This is um, 2nd Ezra 16 and 37. It says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. See? These different plagues that's, that's, coming, upon this, that's, that's coming upon this place it's not slacking off. It's not taking a break. It's not going to get, it's not going to die down in two months. No, man, it's going to continue to grow. It tells you that um, the evils are growing, that the evils are growing, man. So it's not slacking, man. It's getting more and more intense. It's getting more and more, uh, uh, um, more major, you know, now that people have to consider yeah, you know I mean, it says, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, within two or three hours of a of a birth, and within two or three hours of a birth, great pain compares a womb, which pains when the child cometh forth. They slack not a moment. And yeah, and we see it. We see the uh, the deliverance. And, and, how, and what's the indication of the different prophecies? The different birth pains. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and in the in the um, the contractions are getting closer and closer and closer. You know, it's not like like I said, it's going to it's going to die down. And two or six months later, something else happening. No, it's everything is back to back to back now, man. Yeah, you know I mean, it says, even so shall the plays be slack. It's so like even so shall not the plays be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. See, sorrow shall be on, on every side, meaning what? There's not going to be uh, nowhere for comfort, man. If you ain't got the scriptures, man, you ain't, it's not going to be no comfort. You're not going to have no comfort. It's not like you can go and watch some some YouTube videos of um, yeah, I mean some old some some damn America funniest videos to keep your mind off the reality of the famine that's going on in the land. Yeah, you know I mean, are you turning on your Xbox? No, man. It's nothing but. Lamentation, mourners, and woe. And if, if we, if you don't have the scriptures, you know the comforter, the understanding, you know, uh, 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 of the scriptures, man, the knowledge of Yahweh by some outside, you, you know, which is the comforter. You, you're gonna have nothing but uh, uh, sorrows. You're gonna be in mourning, man. You know. It says, it says, oh my people. Hear my word, make you ready to thy battle, and then those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. See, so man, what we 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 where cannot be? We can't be settled in this place. This is gonna get a point in time where we're literally gonna be pilgrims. We're gonna be nomads. We're gonna always be on the move, man. Yeah, you know I mean, why? Because. Once that chip get mandated, that's going to be that one. That day when that chip mandated, it's that fork in the road. Like I said, that sharp left or that sharp right. Either you're going to stay in this society or you're going to go off the grid. You're going to take the chip or you're going to have faith in your how about some y'all shine, man. That's the time that we're coming into, man. Yeah, you know I mean, you know, it says, um, he that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that will lose. 
He that occupy merchandise as he that have no profit by it, and he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. <laughs> it, it's a he that soweth as if he should not reap. So also he that planted the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes. It says they that marry as that they shall get no children, and they that marry not as the widows. And yeah, man, because pretty much, man, everything going to have to be given up, man. It says, and therefore they that labor, labor in vain. Yeah, so pretty much everything is going to be given up, man. It's not like that 401k is going to come into play, man. You know, uh, 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 everything is, once that, once, once, every, once this devil implements that chip, all that is going to have to be given up, man. You know? You know what I mean? Let's see. Um, let's jump down, matter of fact. Because this is... This, <coughs> this is the playoffs. Let's get that. This is the playoffs right here. This is... um. Oh, man. I started... um. 67 <laughs> the spirit this second of the 16 and uh 67 it says behold the most High himself is the judge fear him leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever so shall the most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble and yeah <clears throat> and that's that's the time we're coming into man we, we're going to be in the time where the Most High is the one that's going to be guiding us, man. It's not like we're going to have a GPS in that day. We're going to, we're going to have the spiritual GPS by the Lord the, um, leading us, man. Because it's going to be in a time of trouble like no other. It's not like that you're going to have five minutes to make a decision. It's going to be like a quick time event. We all play these different video games. And, and it might be a cutscene in the game. And that's thing you know, at the bottom of the screen, they tell you to hit a button real quick. Well, that's how it's going to be, man. And it's going to be the spirit of your by Shema Shadow, where, you know, the Lord is going to have us make the right decisions, man. You know what I mean? It says, yeah, because like I said, dealing with the playoffs, like in a regular season, you know what I mean? You can lose a game or two and you can still make it to the playoffs. But in the playoffs, you cannot make no all the decisions. You can't lose no game, man. You know what I mean? So verse 68, it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you um, being idle with things offered unto idols. And what's that? This microchip, man. Because, you know, some of us are going to be taken into the concentration camp. And guess what? They're going to present us with a chip or kill us, man. You know, if you read uh, Daniel's the third chapter, yeah, you know I mean about the three holy children, pretty much. That's a that's a beautiful uh scenario. The world you just gotta say, hey, fuck you in this system, man. Yeah, you know I mean, you know. It says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trying on the foot. So yeah, if if you take that chip, you still gonna get your ass whooped, man. Yeah, you know I mean. So don't take the microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Was we in we coming into those times, man, where it's, it's about to get mandated. Yeah, you know I mean they they come up with these different um, you know, uh, cashless uh, transitions. Yeah, you know I mean what th- th- these things are coming, man. These things are coming, man, and all hell is about to break loose, man. And the spirit of how about some outside have to be upon us. Yeah, you know I mean, the way we don't fall apart, man. You know, because it is it, the first four to eight hours of all hell coming, breaking loose, uh, of the famine. You gonna hear about the first case of cannibalism, man? Cause these Americans are um pretty much indulged in comfortableness. Yeah, if I'm in comfort and comfortability, let me say it like that. They're in, they are, are immersed in comfortability, man. 
And when that's been taken away, you know, pretty much they they won't know how to act. You know, at 12 o'clock, yeah, I mean, it's lunchtime. Well, it's going to be one day where that's going to stop, man. It's not going to be a chick for later that's going to be booming in that day, man. You know what I mean? It says, for, in the, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. See? As a matter of fact, let's get this word insurrection. Let's see what that says. See the word insurrection. See more spelling it right. Okay. It says an act or instance of rising in revolt, rebellion, resistance, see, against civil authority or an established a government. See? Arising, disorder, sedition, revolt, up, uprising, riot. That's what's coming, man. Riots, man. You know? It says, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. See? And yeah, and they're going to be coming into the house looking. You know, coming in the houses with the sword. Matter of fact, um, let's see, if, let's see if I can find that. Let's see if I can find that. Bear with me. Yep. Okay, second edge of sixteen. Okay, this what it is. This is second Ezra sixteen and um thirty one. It says, Even so in those days, see, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. See? So these things are coming, man. They're gonna come with the scraps, you know, and, and, and it's not like they're gonna just do a, a, a swift search. No, they're gonna do an extensive search, man. And this is when the standard of the Lord is going to be raised up in that day. Some of us is going to be literally invisible, man. And that's going to take faith in your house by Shemel Shem. The Lord is going to actually, you know, uh, uh, we, like I said, we're going to do um, worse, greater, even greater worse than you have a shot. And we're, one of the things the Lord did was turn invisible, man. Matter of fact, let's get that in, in John 8 chapter. Because this one of the standards, and it's not like we're going to say invisibility power, turn on. No, man. It's going to be, you know, the Lord, it, it, however the Lord set it up, the way we're going to be in a situation where uh, uh, they're going to they're gonna lose us or whatever, and they're just going to run right past us, man. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, you know, so this is, uh, this is, yeah, how was I? Uh, pretty much was going at it <coughs> with, with um, in different um, I think it was the Pharisees let's see it said the Jews but I think it was the uh, I believe it was the Pharisees Now I got to find and see. Bear with me. Yup, the Pharisees. Yup, so it was the Pharisees. You know, and guess what? The Lord was cutting them, man. You know what I mean? So let's get let's get to the, um, verse 59. This is John 8 and 59. It says, Then took they of stones to cast at him. So they were trying to stone Yahweh Shai. It says, But Yahweh Shai hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. So how did the Lord hide himself and then go in the midst of them at the same time? Meaning what? He disappeared and walked through the midst of them, man. 
You know, so it's, that's once again going to happen. The Lord is going to set a standard in that day, man. And it's going to take the faith of Yahweh. You know, I see Esau is carnal, man. You know, he wants something tangible. He wants he want something then, right then and there. Well, hey, we're going to have to be very spiritual in that day, man. You know what I mean? You know? The Lord is gonna is gonna be we gonna it's, it's, this is, this is a very monumental times, man. Very monumental times. So this is um this is uh Second Ezra sixteen thirty and seventy one again. So they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. See. It says, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Yeah, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be people that's be known who the Lord has been dealing with, man. Why? Because that we have been preserved from the different things, you know, the different plays and the pestilence, the different scenarios. We have been delivered out of it. We've been tried as gold in the fire. Why? Because our faith, we stood stiff, you know. For the words of Yah Bashim Al Sham. We didn't fall apart. Why? Because we we believed in Yah Bashim Al Sham, man. You know, we was tried. We was put in a situation and we overcame it. You know, and it was by faith in the Lord. Matter of fact, uh, let's see. Let's get that in um I think that's Job. The Lord said he's gonna deliver us, man. Job five and um uh, and 19, it says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, and seven, there shall no evil touch thee. So they're going to know who the chosen is by the way of the Lord delivering us out of the six troubles. And ultimately, in the seventh trouble, that that seventh vow, when it's being poured out, the Lord, before that happens, the Lord is going to um, beam us up in the chariots, man. Yeah, I mean. So before that, 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 that E was not touching us, meaning with those missiles, man. Yeah, I mean, matter of fact, before I go back to Job 5, let's go this in uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3. Wisdom of Solomon 3. And, and 1, it says, But the soul of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High. And who is that? Tonight? That's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. You know, it says, And there shall no torment touch them. See? So, 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 uh, well, one of the part and now we're not going to get touched by those missiles, man. You know what I mean? The Lord's going to deliver us from all these different things. You know what I mean? So it says, In famine shall he redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. See, this is, this is going, this is, this is, this is the season that we're about to enter into, man. This is the time that we, the famine. Swore, war, all these things are coming, man, on a major scale. See, yeah, is it? Yeah, these things are in different parts of the world. You know, you know, you got a famine in this land, you got war in this land, you got pestilence in this land. Well, especially here in America, all of these things are going to be happening simultaneously, man. Race wars, cannibalism. Yeah, you know I mean, oh, you know, uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> famine, pestilence, um, the, the the concentration camp, the quarantines, which that's a concentration camp, pretty much. And, you know, being being faced with a uh, with a guillotine, all things, all these things are coming, man. It says, "Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the time; neither thou shalt thou be afraid of discretion when it comes." See, so the Lord's gonna put a heavy spirit on us that we're not gonna fall apart, man. You know, they said we're not going to wax pale, meaning what? Because um, you will watch like these different, um, you will watch like the old Scooby-Doo movie. And, um, you know, the ghosts pop up on them and they turn white. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen to us. The Lord is going to put a heavy spirit on us. Well, we're not going to fall apart in that day. Because the scripture is going to be within us, man. You know what I mean? It says... It says, at discretion and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. See? 
for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. In the and, and yeah, man, because hey, hey, like I said, the playoffs. This is we finna come into very monumental time. We about to come into a time like no other. The stones of the field. These it's gonna be. Hey man, ain't nothing in the power of the Lord. Different statues are gonna come to life in that day, man. It's gonna be newly created beasts. Oh, that's why I says, um, we're, we're gonna be, we're, we're not gonna be afraid of the beasts of the field, man. Why is that? Because it's gonna be different newly created beasts. Um, I think that's Wisdom of Solomon, the eleventh chapter. You know, you all watch this on the TV show called Pokemon. That's what you pretty much gonna see in the streets, man. Shooting out um, fiery vapors, you know, pretty much laser beams out their eyes, man. That's what's coming, man. Yeah, you know I mean, and the spirit of the Lord had to be on us to 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 withstand, man. To keep going, man. Yeah, you know I mean. So it says, "For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee." And yeah, because um. <clears throat> <laughs> because uh, hey man, you might have a the zoo is gonna uh is is gonna release those animals as well, you know. Um, and I believe like every zoo got a lion, you know what I mean, or a tiger. And guess what? They might be your running mate. They might be your you know, if you have uh, another TV show, The Walking Dead, which the guy with name was Ezekiel, which he was a he was he was a Jake too. It was a I think he was like a Benjamite, and his name was Ezekiel. And the guy had a tiger, man. With and, and the tiger followed his commands, man. Well, that's gonna happen in that day. It says, And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou and thou shalt visit thy habitation and, and shall not sin. See, so we we're gonna be at peace, man. The Lord is gonna comfort us in that day. He's gonna put us in situations and pull us out just to constantly remind us that he's with us, man. You know what I mean? You know, so let's go back to Second Ezra sixteen, and um, and seventy three. It says, "Then shall they be known who who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire." Here are ye, my beloved. See, and it's only talking about a certain few. It's not talking about everybody. It's talking about the elect, man. It says, "Said the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same." See. The perilous times are at hand, but the Lord is going to deliver us. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your God. So Yahweh Shem Al Shai is going to guide us, man. He, he's the one that's going to keep us in that day, man. And we said, be ye not afraid or doubt. That's a commandment. We we actually are not going to be afraid of doubt in that day, man. You know, it's going to be it's going to get intense, you know. But the Lord is going to comfort us, man. You know, it, 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 it's going to be very intense, but the Lord is going to comfort us in that day. You might be afraid at one point, but because uh, because even I was, I said, um, um, don't be troubled or anything like that. Why, why, why does the Lord tell us that? Because it's going to be very intense moments, man, that we're going to go through, man. But the Most High, Yah by Shmuel Shai, is going to pull us out of there, man. You know what I mean? It says, in the God of them, let me read this again. It says, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high is your God. In the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, see, because the precepts are going to be within us. When you when we get talking to a concentration camp, we can go and read about the, 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 um, the, the apostles and, and what they had to go through and, and, and seeing the results. Of them trusting in the Lord. You know, it says, And guide them oh, who keep my commandments. And precepts said the Lord power, and not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Yeah. And uh because we, that's why we're working it off now, man. That's why we're working it off now, man. And and and, and that's why we go to uh second Ezra. let's get that second Ezra nine and I end it off from there. Because what's going to save us in that day is our faith and our works, man. And this is on uh, 2 Ezra 9. 
and Sam, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. See? And we're going to be able to escape by what? Our faith and our works, man. Our works and our faith. It said, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. See, the Lord has spirits that are going to be preserved from the perilous times, man. And Lord, what I'm part of that number, man. You know what I mean? Because all hell is coming, man. And there is nothing that can um, rival this day. Hardcore slavery, 70 AD. Nothing, nothing is going to rival the times that we're about to come into, man. You know what I mean? So, yeah, again, I just hope that we edify and give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakodash, that will honor us of Hazrat Elsa Great Millstone, Shalom, to the elect that teach the word, not true, faith, and sincerity, BTA, Abba, Abba, Abba.